morning guys ignore my morning face <laughs> i just want to ask hmm, moms that um you've it's been three months now you've been introducing solid to your baby myself it's been three months i started introducing solid when my baby was six months old i started with finger foods because i choose to start with finger food this time around and i offer the finger food in a safe way i've got a lot of video on my page and um, you want to just go and check and listen to some of the videos to understand my explanation so for the people that um choose to start with puree diets which is not bad it's perfectly okay there is no one um particular way one must do things there are different ways to offer um solid to your baby when they when they turn six months there are different ways to offer solid but your baby is your baby is eight months your baby is nine months have you started changing the texture of the food or you're still puring the food you need to start changing the texture of the food if if, if you think that you if it's the um the the food that you blend in smooth puree consider mashing it up like just like a rough blend to change the texture of that food in your baby's mouth that would help them have a good relationship with food if you want your babies to eat vegetables like honestly for your kids even when they are grown to eat vegetables if start now they won't like it even you as an adult you don't like vegetable we know because of them start don't stop sometimes i just like to cook plain jollof rice but yesterday most of the times when i cook food plain like yesterday just as i was saying chicken so said mommy i didn't i didn't have uh, no that was the day before yesterday i went shopping yesterday i didn't have mixed vegetable in the house so i just cooked the rice you know that sharp sharp emergency type of rice some days are like that chicken so said mommy where is the vegetable mommy i want veg she was opening the fridge i felt bad i was tired I, I'm almost, you know that that's hey God, the African mother in me. I almost said, "Eat you," <laughs> because I was tired. I struggled. And I I just tried to prepare that food, and you're here telling me. But I said to myself, "No, this girl has a very good um food choice. I need to calm down." I said, "Okay, don't worry. Tomorrow I will make it up for you." I this is what I want. This is what I've always wanted. This is what I like they can't eat something without ve there are some things in my house it's not a normal if i cook it if i cook plain plain noodles ah unless i don't have vegetables it's not normal in fact even if i make it they will ask mom especially chicken soup cassie would eat it but anything you give her she will eat i still encourage cassie to eat vegetable but she likes it small nah. but chicken soup so for you to have a child that eats this way which i'm quite proud of her and i'm also proud of cassie as well isn't it cassie yeah <laughs> cassie. oh yeah i'm going to give you yogurt later so um, um if you want to have if you want your kids to have relationship with food like that start now start now that they don't even know what they want they don't even know even if your kids are five start there is not it's never too late start ringing it to them start offering it they are seeing don't even force them don't force them like cassie i don't even force cassie i just make her feel like she's missing out and she knows that she's missing out she's seeing it that she's missing out and then she don't have a choice than to eat because she doesn't want to she doesn't want to be small isn't it yeah, she wants to grow big and strong. Okay, so anyway, I just, so I just been telling Chichi that I wanted to be big. Oh, okay. I just got a message. Oh, no ninja kids today. Okay, I just got a message from Chicken So so so. If that's your baby that is nine months, a gentle reminder: start now. Start now and start changing the texture of the food. If you have that baby that is declining vegetables keep offering 
stop cook like let the way you cook be like a normal so uh, i know i know it's hard i know it's hard to have i think i've had a share of although i've not had a picky eater can't say it's not a picky eater but i think i've had a fair share of how um how it can be tiring to offer some kind of food to a child who wouldn't eat freely someone like cassie she want to chop it off small 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 you know those kind of things it's, it's tiring then if you don't have a picky eater it's really not easy but it's good to just keep offering don't stop offering keep offering Chine, yeah? ah, this sunshine today is just beautiful you want to sleep <laughs>